What's up guys? Welcome to another video and it looks like we might have a ban list on our hands. I just recently woke up. I am super tired guys, but I have been getting a, a bunch of messages from my colleagues. Uh, just anybody that it's in the Yu-Gi-Oh community and all my friends, of course, they're just like, oh yeah, ban list, ban list. But I didn't see any other videos on YouTube of anyone else making a ban list video. So I don't know if this is actually up or not, but we're going to take a look. You can see here, I've looked up Yu-Gi-Oh ban list. So let's give it a check and see if it was updated. And uh, yes, it looks like we did get an update. Oh my goodness. It says right here that the previous October 1st, 2021 list will remain in effect until February 7th. So we have roughly a little over, well, yeah, just about almost two weeks uh, basically to play with what we got currently right now and then there is going to be uh, the update after so let's take a look and see what's going on here I am I don't even know what the heck they're gonna do on this list uh, I already see something new oh my goodness yeah there it is oh my goodness I didn't even look I literally kept my eyes above that oh my god Protos is gone it is gone wow oh my goodness I mean we knew, we knew this was one of the problem cards that needed to go. This card was extremely disgusting uh, in any matchup, but I mean, obviously, even in the mirror match, I think this is probably the biggest reason why this went is actually because of the mirror match. Uh, you basically just call water on them. You know, there's a way that you can make the Protos and then, of course, the, uh, the Supreme Sovereign as well. They just call water and the opponent can't play the game because every single token that they generate with all the Sword Soul cards are all water. So that, that was a huge problem in the mirror match. So I really felt like that was one of the biggest reasons why they just needed to get rid of it. Uh, also because it's dark and dark is one of the most prevalent attributes that we have in the game right now. So this was a really good hit. This was a really good call uh, from Konami to get rid of this. This 100% needed to go. Um, oh, wow. It looks like they just straight up banned Ava. Wow. So that's the Drytron hit for this list. Okay. So they, they felt like one was still too much. And I mean, realistically, it does kind of make sense. One Ava still was allowing Drytron players to still go with their full combo. Of course, they didn't have like the ability to grab two more fairies on the opponent's turn anymore. But I guess even that, even just, you know, getting the fairies on, you know, your turn, I guess, was still too strong. Uh, so yeah, so Ava is limited as well. Crazy. So we already got a couple of cards on the ban list. Uh, let's see what else happened here. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh my god, the Samorg Bird of Sovereignty, really? Oh my god. So they got rid of the Link 3 for the birds. Okay, so this is how they went with uh, hitting that, uh, the Lyralus deck, I guess. Interesting hit, interesting hit, but it sort of makes sense. This was the card that was allowing them to get out their Omni Negate, uh, just being able to special out the Avian. And also just making every single, you know, bird that they have on the board to just, you know, oh, I'm not targetable, right? So they definitely needed to uh, to address this in some way. I'm surprised that they went this route, but this is definitely one way to kind of deal with that. So I guess they can still make all of their stuff. They just, they're just not, not targetable anymore. So uh, this is interesting, but this is probably also a very good hit. So, wow, we already got three bands. That's crazy. That's actually a lot more than I thought was going to happen. To be honest, with you, I was just thinking, okay, you know, Imperial Order, and that's about it, right? Uh, maybe, like I said, Protoss was was definitely a card that, uh, you know, needed to be dealt with, but I wasn't sure if they were going to do it on this list, so. Uh, but no, that's good. That is very good. So far, so good. We've got some good hits here. Let's see what else is uh, going on here. Uh, oh, there it is! Oh my goodness. There it is. Imperial Order is gone, baby! That's exactly what I was hoping for. That card needed to go. It always felt so bad when this card was played on you. So sacky feeling like it was just, yeah, it, this card needed to go. Uh, I'm super glad that we, that we got this gone. So, oh my goodness, finally don't have to deal with Imperial Order. I mean, I have a feeling that people are probably going to start citing Anti-Spell if they really want a similar type effect. Uh, but at least with Anti-Spell, you can at least still play your spell cards. You just have to wait a turn. Still very impactful, but not nearly as, you know, disgusting as Imperial Order was at times. So this is this I'm really happy to see. And it obviously looks like that's all. That's it for the band. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's a decent, you know, number of band cards. That's four band cards. But they're all, honestly, all of them made sense. 
I'm a little surprised with the Ava. I'm not going to lie. I, I honestly didn't think that they were going to need to, you know, you know, put it from one to nothing. I thought just putting it to one was enough so that they could at least still get some, you know, searchability with the fairies and just have some negates for the ultimateness. But nope, I guess even that was still just too much. Uh, so they just outright got rid of it. And then, yeah, even the Samorg bird, even, even that was kind of just like left field. I wasn't expecting them to do that either. Uh, kind of crazy, but it all makes sense so far. So, uh, yeah, so that's it for the band. Let's go and see what they did with the limits. Uh, oh, they brought back Astrograph Sorcerer. Oh, my goodness. Crazy. So they gave a little bit of a buff to the Pendulum decks. That's nuts. Okay, okay, Konami, I see you, I see you. Oh my goodness, I bet you Triff is just absolutely going nuts right now. This is actually crazy. I actually think that this could, like, this will really help Pendulum decks a lot, for sure. I'm actually really surprised that they brought this card back. But, hey, maybe, pet. like I said, Pendulums have been kind of out of the loop for quite a while. Uh, I mean, depending on who you ask, obviously, if you ask Triff, he'll probably tell you otherwise. But, you know, they, they haven't been that relevant for quite a while. So it's nice that they're, you know, again, on another list, giving more stuff back. Uh, because just the way even the rules work for for Pendulums, they're already nerfed as it is. So I'm kind of glad that they're finally, like, opening up some of the stuff. Unfortunately, it, I, I th I'm pretty sure Electromite is still on this list. Yeah, yeah, Electromite is still here, unfortunately. This is the one Pendulum card I want to come back, but I honestly don't think it'll ever come back. Plus, we're also getting a card that's very similar to... Uh, to Electromite anyways, so, uh, but wow, that's crazy, okay, so Astrograph came back, okay, that's, okay, that's pretty cool, I like the Konami, li I like it when they bring back cards off of the list, so that's really interesting, oh, wow, there is a bunch of stuff here, okay, let's, let's just go one by one here, okay, Destrudo came back, oh my goodness, wow, that's crazy too, whoa, 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 Konami's doing some stuff here with this list, wow, Okay, okay, so Destrudo coming back, another, you know, extender tuner monster. This thing was nuts back in the day. Um, could still see it being pretty crazy, uh, especially with Dragon Link and Boral End coming out. Oh my god, this is, wow, this is actually going to be nuts. Um, okay, okay, I see. Let's, uh, let's keep going here. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Snow came back! Oh, <laughs> Snow came back, and Luna Light Tiger came back too. Oh my goodness, they are bringing back a bunch of cards right now. That is nuts. Wow, okay, okay. So any of you uh, any of you players that like to play Snow in the deck is back. I mean, it's only at one, so it's not super consistent, but hey, it's still there. You can still do it. And then Luna Light Tiger, okay, okay. That came back as well. Wow, that is absolutely nuts, guys. I uh, was never... I didn't think they were going to go this heavy on unbanning stuff, but it's pretty cool. Like, we don't really have in-person events anymore. They cancel all that. It's all, like, online now. So, yeah, I guess that's fair. You know, give give the players some more things to play around with while, you know, you know the in-person events are all on lockdown. Um, okay, okay. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. The pe Wow, like, the Destrudo. That's, that's absolutely insane. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, Recite Starling, Recital Starling, there we go. That card was 100%. I, you know, just in my, in my thinking, when I was kind of thinking over, you know, the, the, like, what would they even hit on this ban list? This was actually one of the cards that also came up, because this was like, how do you, how do you hit the bird deck? And this is definitely one way to have done it. Uh, so I'm glad that they did this. This card just not being once per turn uh, basically was what made this a little bit too broken. Them just being able to, you know, make multiple copies of these, you know, get multiple searches. It was just, it was just too good. Uh, so I'm really glad that they decided to hit this as well. This was also, like I said, part of my prediction, uh, not official prediction, but I, I, I had a feeling that this was going to be a card that they needed to address um, in the Lyra Lust deck for sure. Um, so yeah, so that looks like that's it for all of the monster cards. Let's see what else they ended up hitting. Uh... Uh, what is this? Monster, Monster Gate? Is this, is, uh, am, am I seeing this right? Monster, Monster Gate is limited? Okay, okay, that's, that's interesting. I, I, I don't really know what that exactly does. Am I missing something here, guys? Like, let, let me, let me know in the comments. What am I missing here with, uh, with this limit here? Monster Gate. Interesting. What, what deck was abusing this card? I don't really know. 
Okay. I was expect. Okay. Yeah. Let, let me know in the comments, guys. I'm actually really confused about that one. Um, what? Pot of Desires? Pot of Desires? What? Oh my goodness. What? Oh my goodness. So this is how they decided to hit the Tenyi deck. The Sword Soul Tenyi deck. Oh my goodness. They put Pot of Desires to one? Oh my goodness, guys. I, I'm a I'm a Sword Soul, I'm a fellow Sword Soul player. That hurts. That actually really hurts. But you know what? It makes a whole it makes a lot of sense too at the same time because this is the one card that like you know what I mean? Like you can stop the Sword Soul player all you want, but then oh they just drop the desires on you and they just draw two more, right? And the banishes don't ever really hurt them because we literally play three of everything. And also the fact that Chang Ying just gets buffed by this card. Um, so it's kind of, it's insane, right? So this kind of makes sense. I didn't think that they would actually do this. That's nuts, though. Um, but it, it makes a whole lot of sense. That's actually really, really crazy. Um, so it's at least it still lets us have our consistency, which is nice. Because my initial thought, actually, when they were, uh, like, just in a way that they could hit the deck, other than, of course, Protoss, was... And then possibly hitting one of the tenies, probably a Shuna, just because a Shuna is a major extender for the deck. So I thought maybe, okay, they could hit that for right now, because I knew that they weren't going to hit any of the actual Sword Soul cards yet, because it's the deck is still too new. But uh, yeah, this, this makes a whole lot of sense. Wow, this is absolutely crazy. Absolutely nuts. Okay, okay. So I guess Desires is at one now. That's interesting. Uh, and that's it. That's it for the limits. Okay, so uh, we didn't we didn't get so Ashuna didn't get touched. So we still have all the Ashunas in the world, but we, we we don't got the desires. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely crazy. I didn't think I would ever see a world where Pot of Desires was at uh, was at one, but here we are. And yeah, like I said, guys, let me know what this monster gate is all about. I'm super confused about this. Like, I'm not sure. Maybe this is a preemptive hit. Maybe there's something that's just going to be extremely busted uh, just coming up in the future that I maybe just missed. But yeah, guys, let me know because I, I honestly don't know. Uh, all right. So, whoa. Whoa. I saw some things. Uh, let's. Uh, all right. I guess let's see what's uh, what's on the uh, either semi limiter coming off. Uh, yeah, it looks like that we have a bunch of cards that are, uh, it almost looks like it's, uh, semi-limited. Oh my goodness, a hero's lives, a hero's lives came back, people, a hero's lives, oh my goodness, yes, oh my goodness, I am a massive hero fan, I love heroes, this is absolutely nuts. Fusion Death, Fusion Destiny got semi-limited, oh my god, Nadir's Servant as well. Ooh, and Circle got put to two, and Scapegoat came back to two. Oh my goodness, what in the world is this list already, guys? This list is actually insane. They've actually done a lot of things on this list. Holy moly. I almost thought, like, because, like, there was a bunch of stuff I saw new, new, limited, and I was just like, oh god, you know, was is this the, like, are we just skipping the semi-limit list? There's like nothing exists on the semi-limit list and this is all stuff coming off. I almost got excited. I almost thought that uh, Mally was coming back to three. I would have been like, oh my God, that is nuts. But Heroes Lives to two. That is pretty sweet. I actually really like that. Fusion Destiny to two. That kind of hurts a little bit. But you know what? I'm kind of glad that they did this. I'm super glad that they actually decided to use the semi-limit list to some degree. I always felt that Konami should do a better job with this list because this actually balances out some cards. And this is great. This is actually the best first step to like kind of seeing, like kind of like dealing with Fusion Destiny. And actually now speaking of, Verte is still in the game, guys. What in the world? Verte is still in the game. How is Verte still alive? Oh my goodness. That's absolutely insane. I cannot believe that Verte is still alive and they decided to hit Fusion Destiny instead. I am actually super shocked. Obviously, you know, if you guys follow the OCG, you know that the OCG completely just outright banned Fusion Destiny, but I didn't think that that was the correct way to deal with it. I just felt like you hit the Verte. Yeah, sure, you can still play three Fusion Destiny, but I would much rather have them try to hard draw it than just be able to just like end with it on their combo. 
negate them to oblivion and then oh i got two monsters on the board i'll still just make you know dpe or you know destroy a phoenix enforcer so you know what i mean i would still not much rather have had them try to hard draw this card but wow that's crazy so i guess i just swap out one fusion destiny for a hero's lives i guess that's basically how that's gonna go uh nadir servant going to two this is interesting uh i kind of i kind of thought that this maybe would be a hit that would have happened like lists ago to be honest with you back when nadir was actually you know a, a kind of a problem um and then circle i'm actually really glad that they did this this actually was kind of like on my like prediction when i was talking with my fellow knights uh that you know hey they could probably give circle or even gazelle back to two that'd probably be fine scapegoat to two that's actually really interesting too um i don't really know like what decks that buffs right now but Obviously, you know, it's just, it's just basically more token generation. I guess they're, sort of, uh, Konami's on hard, hard on <laughs> just, you know, token generation right now. Because obviously we got the Brave Engine coming out here right away. And then, yeah, and now, you know, Scapegoat coming back. Um, so yeah, so that's it for all of the semi-limit lists. Wow, that, that's crazy. I guess, uh, let's see what else they did. Let's see if there's more cards that came off of the list. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like there is. So the first one I see is Nessie. Okay interesting uh yeah i guess i could have gathered that from not singing it here early uh on the semi-limit list but yeah nessie is back this is one of the ones that makes the most sense uh i think this is the only danger that would be okay to be at three the other ones you can't they're too powerful but nessie for sure makes sense uh skull crowbat joker nice i'm glad they did this i think this was pretty you know self-explanatory we kind of knew this was coming we saw it go to two the last list. We it did nothing. We knew that this was probably just going to come back to three anyways. So Skull Corbat Joker to three. That's pretty cool. Or, uh, you know, a little more buff to, you know, the Pendulum uh, pendulum deck. And let's see what else. Uh, yeah, there we go. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon has officially come off the list. It is now fully at three, guys, with the new errata. This probably should have happened forever ago, to be quite honest with you. E-Telly! E-Telly! Raigeki! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! What? Oh my god! So you're telling me that we can play three Lightning Storm? We have now three Lightning Storm and we have three Raigeki? Like, I understand that Lightning Storm basically was Raigeki, a little bit nerfed because it was only attack position monsters, but what? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Itelli goes to three. That's insane. Any Psychic decks? That's insane. That's a huge buff to uh, Virtual World, actually. Uh, wow. If two wasn't crazy enough, yeah, I guess they decided, here you go. Let's open the floodgates. Here's a third one. Uh, right, Geki. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is absolutely crazy. Right, Geki at three? That's nuts. Everybody's going to be side decking this card. Th there's no way. If, if you can't afford Lightning Storms, oh, okay, cool. Let's just... Go with Raigeki, because there's a bunch of other back row hate cards you could play. There's Twin Twisters, there's Cyclone, that are way cheaper options than Lightning Storm, and then you just basically play three Raigeki, because you can now. That's absolutely nuts, guys. What in the world is going on right now? Holy moly. And then Skill Drain? Skill Drain is back? Wow, I didn't even see this. What in the world? What is this list, you guys? Oh my god, I'm literally going on 20 minutes reaction here. Oh my god, this list was nuts! Holy crap, you guys. Skill Drain at 3? What did we need this card at 3 for? Oh my god. I, get, I mean, hey, we're getting some pretty insane, like, monsters and just, like, yeah, just monster effects so this is how they deal with it, I guess. And I, like, I guess short of like bringing back vanities, which that would be way too strong. This is definitely one way to deal with all of these crazy busted effects that are going on right now. Wow. What a list, you guys. That is nuts. I can't believe that they let Raigeki go to three. That's, that's actually insane. Wow, you guys. That's, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Wow. So this is this is the list. This is the list. So guys, what did you got? What did you guys think of the list? I really want to know. Did you guys think this was a good ban list? Like they did a lot of things here. I actually am really surprised on how much they did this list. But good on good job, Konami. You guys did. You guys addressed a lot of a lot of issues, like little tiny issues 
They brought back a bunch of stuff, which is awesome. It'll bring some excitement into this new format, especially with all of the new stuff that's coming out with like the Brave Engine, of course, Branded Fusion coming out and all that stuff. Uh, the Albaz deck. Yeah, this is this is exciting stuff, guys. This is awesome. Um, what did you guys think? I know Yeah, a couple, couple notable things that I can think off the top of my head that they didn't hit. Uh, like I said, I already mentioned Verte. Absolutely crazy that they didn't hit that card. I still think that that's the card that they probably should ban. So I'm very surprised that they still haven't done that. But at the same time, again, we're getting more fusion stuff that Verte could potentially abuse. So they probably wanted you to still be able to do that for a little bit. And then maybe after that, they'll do it. Maybe. <laughs> We've been saying this forever, but they haven't done it yet. So we'll see. Uh, and then probably Scythe. Uh, I would say that's probably the one card that they probably should have hit. Because I'm not going to lie, not dealing with Scythe right now is probably going to make this a very... Uh, I could see this format potentially becoming very uh, PK heavy. Uh, just because I think PK is going to massively abuse Scythe. Uh, especially with them being able to, you know, obviously they'll play... Uh, the Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, and then they'll have the Scythe, right? So now they can still Scythe. They didn't hit Dagda either. They didn't hit either one of them, um, which I thought that one of the two definitely needed to be dealt with. Uh, I'm very, very surprised that they didn't do anything to Scythe, quite honestly. Um, or even, you know, they could have banned Sanctum even possibly too. And so then you just, you couldn't freely just, um, you know what I mean? Just special the Scythe whenever you wanted. So... I don't know. I, I, I'm uh, there. There's a couple things that they missed, but honestly, for the most part, they did a really good job. They did a really good job. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. You guys, let me know what you guys thought about the list in the comments. I will see you guys in the next upload. Have a nice day, guys. Deuces.